Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Speed up your loading times, removed aircraft you just don't fly, or simply free up hard drive space. Coming up on today's episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. Welcome back. In today's video, we will go over how to speed up your loading time. I will also go over how to free up your hard drive space, as this sim seems to be taking up more and more space every day and every update. And lastly, I want to show you how to make it easier in your aircraft selection menu by removing all of the aircraft you're not using. If you have any comments or questions throughout the video, leave them down below in the comments and I'll get right back with you. If you enjoyed today's content and found it useful, make sure to hit that subscribe, tick on that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. All right, so let's get started. All of the changes that we're gonna go over today will take place inside of Microsoft Flight Simulator. First, I wanna go over the topic of how to speed up your loading times for Microsoft Flight Sim. The first thing we need to understand about loading times is the more items that the sim has to load, the longer your times will be. So the more scenery packs and aircraft that you have in your community folder, or have downloaded from the marketplace, that will increasingly make your sim slower and slower. So the object today is to remove a lot of these items that we're just simply not using. So let me show you what I'm talking about. The first thing that we need to do is to go up to your profile and then go down to Content Manager. Once you're in the Content Manager, on the left-hand side, we have a couple different search criteria checkboxes. We can either show all the installed mods that we have, we can show not installed, or any updates that are available. I have already gone through and deleted some of the things in here, which is why you see 142 items not installed. So what we need to do first is to tick on the installed checkbox at the top, and this will show just what is installed on our system. Now at the very top in the search criteria, we are able to show this information a couple different ways. We can show all of these as packages, or we can break them down into individual items within that package. For instance, if we take a look at the top rudder 103 solo, you will see in package form gives us one option. If we break that down into individual items, now you can see all the various liveries that go along with that aircraft. One thing to note, whenever we get a world update and we go into our marketplace and download that update, it's gonna download everything for that package. But that doesn't necessarily mean that we need every single thing in that particular package. The first thing that we're gonna look up is training. When you start typing that in, you will find several different training missions that are gonna pop up for you. If you're not utilizing any of these training missions, then we can just go ahead and delete every single one of them that's gonna be on your system. Go down the bottom and hit delete. Now the good part here is if you delete something and realize, whoa, whoa, I went a little bit too far and I didn't mean to delete that, we can just go to not installed and again, hit training. And this will bring up all of those training missions that we have just deleted. So this way they're always there but we're not gonna keep them on our system. The next thing I wanna take a look at is the discovery flights. Now remember I said at the top, we can break these down into packages or individual items within that package. If we go ahead and do that here, you will see that it's gonna break up several of these packages for us. I don't use any of these discovery flights, so you can either select these individually or we can just go up, hit select all, just verify all the different flights and there's nothing in here that you don't want checked. Go down and hit delete. Now keep in mind, when I say hard drive space, I am also referring to SSDs. I realize that if you are on a hard drive, this sim is gonna run very slowly for you. And if you are someone that's using a hard drive, I highly recommend to switch to an SSD. It'll also speed up all of your loading times. The next thing we're gonna take a look at is our landing challenges. I've already deleted most of my landing challenges. You'll probably have much more than I do. You can also separate this again by individual items at the top if you wish. 
So because I don't use any of these challenges, I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. Next thing we're going to take a look at is bush trips. This will bring up all the various bush trips that are downloaded on your system. We can break these up by individual bush trips if you want to keep one in particular. But I'm just going to go ahead and select all and then hit the delete button at the bottom. This will free up another 160 megabytes on my system. The next thing I want to take a look at are our POIs or points of interest. Now let's say for instance we have something like this that says 40th anniversary points of interest. Now I'm not quite sure of what I'm going to be deleting if I do delete this entire package. So if I break this down into individuals, now we can see everything that's going to be incorporated with the 40th anniversary edition. So this way you're able to see exactly what you're deleting or if you only want to delete certain POIs because you're not flying in that area, you can do that right from this location as well. The next thing I want to take a look at are airports. One thing to keep in mind when you're looking through the various airports to figure out what you don't need, you also have to think about any third party airports you may have downloaded. And if you delete the base file, some of the third party developers use some of the elements that are in that base file for that airport. But again, if you delete something and find, hey, I need that back, you can simply go back to your not installed and reinstall that airport. The last thing that we're going to cover today is the aircraft. Now, I know this bothers me sometimes, so I'm sure it has to bother other people when they're trying to decide on what aircraft they want to fly for the day. Now, I understand there are add-ons that you can use, like a pinner tool that'll pin up your most used aircraft in your menu. But in my opinion, if I'm not using the aircraft, why keep it? I'll save the space on my hard drive. I'll speed up my loading times because of it, and it'll be easier for me to decide on an aircraft when I'm looking through all the different planes that I have. Now, if you take a look at some of these, for instance, the JU-52, this thing is almost five gigabytes just for this one aircraft. All right, so that's gonna finish us up for today's episode. Let me know down below how much space you freed up on your system, and let me know how much faster it loads for you. If you have any comments or questions, post them down below in the comments. And as always, make sure to hit that subscribe, click on that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. To all my flight simmer friends around the world, keep the blue side up, and we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody.